All right, so if you wanna be able to record your audio from your comm system, is to get another comm system. This comm system will be just dedicated to just the audio. Um, for this application, I've been struggling getting my audio from the comm into the GoPro. For whatever reason, the Hero 8, it's got some weird issues because you have to use an adapter with it. So what I'm doing is I'm gonna to record to a Zoom H1 recorder and that's gonna capture all the audio coming out of this comm unit, so a spare one, and we'll be able to record the audio to here, and then I'll just sync up one audio track to the video. We're all using Cena's. This is the 20S models. We're gonna sync up our comms, and basically I'll be able to hear the audio from there. Once I've got my audio to my liking, I can now take this uh, audio and we'll plug it into the headphone out so it's gonna send the audio to the GoPro. This adapter with GoPro is actually quite frustrating. There's times where like my audio works and then it doesn't work. And I think it's the GoPro's fault. The other benefit to this is if you got a large enough SD card in there, you can record for hours. So that means if you're, even when you cut your GoPros, this will still be recording the group chat and you might get some dialogue or a soundbite that you really like and then you can lay it into your, your videos. All right, we're gonna sync up our comms and get this all dialed in. So now to put them in sync mode, you do a little dance. <laughs> Seriously, this is how you do it. When you're doing this, I definitely recommend getting a buddy with you because it's really hard to know if you're talking and they can hear each other and all that fun stuff. There's an audio check, and I can hear you just fine. Nice, and I can hear you, and looks like levels are pretty good on the Zoom H1 recorder. So this is a good way to get clean audio from the comms. So I was doing some research about the whole GoPro audio thing, if you're using an external power source to power your GoPro. And one thing that I found was that when you're using an external power source, so I'm using my bike, for example, to power it, but other people are using USB power banks. When you power on your GoPro, there's kind of like a series of steps that you need to do in order to get your external mic to work. And one of them was you power on the GoPro, then you plug in the mic, then you go to your input output settings, and then you can select the external mic. And you have to do that pretty much every single time. For my case scenario, that's really not gonna work for being a one person operation for filming and writing. So I'm definitely gonna be using that audio recorder Plus, just from the short little ride, I noticed that my audio cord is already unplugged from the GoPro. That's not gonna work. And even if I gaff tape it or electrical tape it in, that's gonna be a pain in the butt since that series of steps, I gotta plug that mic in every single time I power on the GoPro to have it recognize it. Zoom recorder for the win, and I'm gonna gain some other audio bites along the way that I may not have had the GoPro rolling and recorded that. We'll keep uh, staying tuned as we're gonna keep releasing more updates. And uh, yeah, the final ride is coming soon and so much to do for planning. <laughs>